Welcome to seed number seven, one of the most popular seeds right now in LEGO Fortnite. I wouldn't call this a perfect seed or anything, since I think there's maybe a little bit too few caves. Now here's a cave just in front of me, but I think maybe in the desert and in the snow there's still slightly too few caves. But you do spawn somewhere just around the spot where I am right now. It's close to a lake. It's close to the snow biome and also very close to the dry valley, the desert biome. I guess this is why this seed is so popular. I've dreamed every single second I have been working on this world. Everything sing I have built in this world, I've streamed everything off. And I'm not going to be touching anything today. I'm not going to be changing any structure today. I'm only here to show you what I have built. In order to get all the building pieces, I had to get my first, the grasslands level, the grasslands village here to level 10. I did that uh, by just placing around a lot of random stuff. But as you can see, this village is not yeah, what it used to be. I even destroyed something and I even also raided a lot of the stuff here in order to get moving. Down here, as you can see right there on my screen, there's a level 10 village in the desert. And the desert uh, is only here, as you can see, it's quite scuffed. The desert village here is only built so that I could unlock the castle pieces. See, I do have the Lion Knight set, but there are some still some of the uh, built-in castle pieces from the castle you get in the game that I wanted to have in my build. The Lion Knight set is is possible when you buy that from the item shop. It is possible for you to build a complete and beautiful castle. I actually built most of my castle, as you can see in a minute. I built most of it with the Lion Knight set. But there are some details I just wanted from the original set. We're getting closer and closer to my castle in the snow. I wanted to build it up top and you can see it rendering in up here in just a second. Up at the top I have uh, put a backpack in order to make a beacon so I can see where it is. The beacon always renders in before everything else. Oh, please don't interrupt me right now. This is so rude. Oh, and then now you can see the castle start to render in. On purpose, I built it up on the top here because I wanted like to have this feel like it it had over a look over the entire valley on the entire uh, down from the snow biome and into the grasslands biome and also at overlook all the way out to the desert. So you could say that this snow biome castle is actually close to the desert and to the grasslands as well. But it is far enough into the snow biome because it's up here to get um, these helmeted skeletons at night. You can't really see a lot of stuff down here, but you can see the details are put in the walls all the way around. The foundation underneath is made with the Durberger foundation. Also the paint set from the item shop because these pieces are a giant uh, just one giant block and you don't get the giant foundation pieces if you are not playing in sandbox mode if i didn't mention it before this is a lego survival mode for now i don't have any stairs up here so this is my way of getting in as you can see right now the castle is looking quite good this is my gate and all the way around here, there's a wall. wall. Now, one of the things that was very challenging about this build is building it on ground that has different levels. Let's see all around here. This is the somewhat flat surface with the build going around. I still haven't found a, an idea yet to what I want to do underneath. So if you have a good idea, Please leave it so in the comments. But you can follow the wall all the way around here. There is four blocks between each between each tower, so that's somewhat uh, symmetrical. The uh, tower, the uh, castle, the entire castle is just exactly the size of 
the entire yellow village square. So if we do this, you can see the castle is just from corner to corner, the entire village square, with the exception of just some like centimeters out here. In the corner, we have this castle corner castle built here and you can see you can walk all around the walls all the way around this castle let me start off by going down here as well i built these stairs i don't really have yet put in these uh, doors here but you can walk all around the inside of the walls as well and all of the times my villagers get stuck in here they don't know how to get in or out this is the lower ground. This is the ca it has a name. Um, I can't remember the name what it's called, but this is the lower uh, like uh, inner co court or inner uh, yeah of the castle. You can go up to the walls and there are bridges over here to the keep. Underneath the castle here is uh, where all the peasants, where all the villagers work. All the machines, the stations, the workstations are down here. And in here, I'm going to have my vault at some point with all of my items. Let me just take this here so it don't bug out. And let me put the iron back here. So I have the machines all the way around here. And it's going to be cleaned up at some point. Over in the top of machines, we are going to have lighting. So I built this like, as you can see, I had to follow the curvature and the different levels of the snow so I had like different decks going up here and that was of course a challenge but also a fun challenge but let's go up into the tower here I only use launch pads to build this thing up here there is the let me just uh, do I have pickaxe no this this needs to be going this is not a permanent thing this is the mage tower. This is the wizard's tower or the princess tower. Call it what you want. I guess you can call it the monkey tower in this case because this is monk's tower. This is the fastest way to get up, even though it's not periodically accurate to have a jump pad like this. We have the stairs going all the way up. Right now, this only functions as monk's bedroom, so you can call monks either the wizard or the princess for this castle. Going up here, you have a very nice view. I have a backpack here to serve as a beacon. I want to be building some sort of beacon tower here at some point. You can see all the way to the snow biome uh, lake all here and into the snow biome this way and down to the grasslands uh, lake and over there is my spawn village and this way going this way we have the entire desert so there's a narrow 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 strip of grasslands in this uh, seed number seven from the snow to the desert I guess this is also one of the reasons it's popular and i even think there's uh, water down here and i think that's the shoreline out here Either that or it's a desert more. There's a giant lake in the desert as well. If you want to fish for those thermal fish. Let's go out and see the inner keep here. This is also something that uh, I think is quite a masterpiece in my opinion. You can go around here and like be the archer and shoot down from uh, all these this thing. Like we have the first level archers and then the second level of archers here uh, protecting the inner keep there's not doors all the way around but there this backside don't have a door these are some of the things that i wanted from the original set almost everything else is here is from the lion knight set but these characters here in the wall are something you need to unlock in the desert going in here right now we don't really have uh, the plans um, finished yet for this building but i'm contemplating on making a throne room and maybe a food court or something maybe out here is actually where we need the food stands the food court and in here is where we need the great hall the food uh, the um, the throne room and maybe a, a dining room i don't i'm not 100 percent sure yet so if you have a great a good idea put it in the comments now i have 
an idea on how I want to expand this world and I want your opinion on that as well if you have the time to do that. See, I want to do something that I have never done before. As you can see, this uh, here is quite a unique seat. So going all the way down here, the grassland start all already there and the desert already here so what i'm thinking of doing let's just admire the build here what am i thinking of doing is that i want to have a village uh, like one big city expanding from the snow and then through fields maybe some farmers uh, living out here in a village as well and then all the way out to the desert so that uh, maybe even walled all the way around but one big you're messing with my flow here but one big uh, city of several villages going from the first lands and all the way to the desert if this is something that you would be excited to see I'm saying that I'm I'm saying again I'm mentioning it again as I mentioned before I'm not doing anything in this world in videos I'm not building it in videos I will show you from time to time in videos but this everything is th in this world in this seed I am streaming every single second of it so if you want to be a part of it and see what I'm doing please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you can see when I get live the next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I will see you in the comments in the future. Bye.